when we last left Jill, she was in the process of evaluating the Canadian-based backup service, Background Backup. Jill had just finished reviewing the weekly backup report sent to her and getting more familiar with the real-time reporting available through the web interface. When Jill was put in charge of backups for the publishing company in Kingston, Ontario, she knew that the most important aspects of any service she'd be testing would be the file restore features. When Jill's boss Randy lost his laptop bag in a cab in San Francisco, he called her to see if she had a copy of his presentation for a 4 p.m. meeting with a potential client. Randy had been working furiously all afternoon to make final revisions to his important presentation. He knew that he wouldn't be able to recover those changes, but at least he could get the version of the document he was working on before he left. Unfortunately, with the three-hour time difference, Jill had already left the office and was unable to retrieve the file off the company's servers. Randy was left without a presentation, a long trip back to Kingston, and a pledge to himself that he would never let this happen again. Now, we join Jill as she's about to sit down at her home computer to try and restore a file backed up from her office desktop. Even though Jill isn't currently using background backup on her home computer, she has been authorized to access her data through the online interface. Through the secured SSL-enabled website, Jill is able to view her account the same way she does from inside her office. Jill is behind on her work and wants to see if she can restore a Word document that she was working on before leaving the office. Since Background Backup works in real time, she won't have to wait until the next morning for the file to be available on Background Backup servers. In most situations, Jill is able to perform a restore right from the web. Jill starts by clicking the Restore tab, where she sees a file tree, very similar to Windows Explorer. From there, Jill navigates to her Documents folder and finds her Word document from earlier today. Jill selects the file and presses Restore. In a few seconds, Jill is presented with a link, which, when clicked, presents her with an option to download her file. Jill can then open the file in Microsoft Word, complete her work, and email the file back to her work email for tomorrow morning. While Jill is logged into the web interface, she decided to take a look at some of the other features Background Backup offers to restore her files. First, by going into Client Settings, Jill is able to select additional folders for the service to back up. This means if Jill needs a file that wasn't backed up, she could still retrieve it by first selecting it, telling Background Backup to resume the backup, and then restoring the file from the web. Jill also notices that she can select a point in time through the calendar and restore files or folders that were present during this time. This means Jill could restore a previous version of the Microsoft Word document she's been working on or even restore a preference file from a week ago, before she was having issues with Microsoft Office. Back at the office, Jill is interested in testing Background Backup's restore features further by restoring a very large video file from one of the iMacs in the office. Mike, the company's media editor, has been working with a video file which appears to be corrupt. Mike says that the last time the file was working correctly was the beginning of last week and would like to go back to that previous version. Jill launches Background Backup on Mike's iMac and asks Mike to type his account password to access the application. In Background Backup, Jill selects the Restore tab and finds the video file Mike is looking for. Once the file is selected, Jill reviews the different file versions available for a restore and decides on Most Recent. This should give her the last known version of the file that was working correctly. Because Mike believes he may be able to still fix the issues with the corrupt video, Jill decides to restore the file to the original location and rename the current file. Because Publishing Inc. has been enjoying a trial of one of Background Backup's on-site storage appliances, the large video file will be restored over the local area network in only a few minutes. After restoring Mike's video, Jill wonders what would happen if one of the employees experienced a complete data loss or had to restore important files that were too big to restore over the web. She heads over to backgroundbackup.ca to download the Data Restorer and Recovery Datasheet. Mm -hmm. 